have the pleasure of speaking with Terry Lynch from Power Nickel. How are you today? Just doing great, Tracy. How about yourself? Well, I love the name Power Nickel. You're new to investor intel land. And of course, you've got nickel, copper, cobalt, and the platinum group of metals. How can you not lose? So how about, we start, yeah, <laughs> how about we start there? Let's start with the fact that one of your major projects, right, is, uh, is to acquire 80% from Critical Elements Lithium Corp Corporation. Did I get that correct? You did, yeah. We acquired it last February, and uh, we've been working on it ever since. Did our first drill, I guess, model the deposit in the summer. It was the first time it was ever 3D modeled. And we, uh, we had the benefit of working with really you know, a tremendous uh, deposit modeler. And these guys have been my experience. They're uh, the good ones are obviously scientists, but they're part artists. It's because, you know, finding minerals is a bit of, there's a bit of art there too. There's science, but there's guys that can find stuff and there's, they have the same science degree, but the other guys can't find squat. This guy's a mind finder. So anyway, he did a great job for us, put us on the, um, uh, this exploration grid and we hit seven of eight holes, which is fantastic by anybody's uh, scorecard. The eighth hole was a fault, so that not even that was a miss really. So now uh, we uh, reported some great results and we'll have an updated uh, brand new 43101 coming out uh, before the end of the quarter. And we're expecting to, you know, get some good positive uh, kick there. And uh, a, there was a, an old historical resource of 3.1 million tons of about 1.1% nickel, 0.5% copper, 0.07 cobalt, and about 1.4 grams of uh, the platinum group metals, and mostly palladium. So uh, a really great polymetallic mix, probably like a $400 a ton uh, revenue type mix, which is just phenomenal if you like it, if you're in mining. So Terry, unfortunately, many people out there don't really know the Critical Elements Lithium Corporation story. Uh, as well as we do, for instance, we've been following them for quite some time. So that was a tremendous asset to pick up. And also you really have, you have a second project as well. Yeah, we obviously we were in copper gold and we loved our copper gold projects. And, you know, we were trading at, at above these levels just under copper gold. And we, and we acquired this thing called Golden Ivan in the heart of the gold triangle in the BC. And that was going to be the flagship until I discovered NISC and NISC became just like too irresistible and I had to have it. So, uh, uh, but yeah, we've got a, a great second project. We're going to spin it out into its own gold copper company because gold and copper, you know, don't necessarily fit with uh, nickel. You know, it, it's just uh, two different animals. We're, we're more power nickel at this stage with the nickel deposit is more of a development story, whereas uh, our gold and copper assets are more of an exploration story. So I'm going to ask you right now, we're getting a lot of emails, of course, with what's going on in the market. If an investor out there were saying this is a great time to look at high value stocks, they're a great buy. Can you talk to us about what are some of the competitive advantages of getting in on power nickel today? Well, you know, the stock's been crushed. So like we did our financing last May at 25 cents and 40 cents, got uh, two of the uh, top ranked hedge funds in the country in the deal. So I would say smart money invested, including uh, not just them, but myself, my family. So manager went, went back in and uh, we executed, we, we, uh, we, we uh, did our modeling, get out there, did great drill results. Nickel was under five bucks a pound when we bought it. It's 12 bucks a pound now. Uh, couldn't have picked a better market to get into. So I would say on all metrics, we've uh, executed fantastically. Yet our stock price today is like, I don't know, 14, 15 cents. It's ridiculous. So I think if you're an investor, these uh, times are scary, right? Because it's a flight to liquidity. You're thinking, hey, maybe I should keep my money under my mattress or whatever. You know, people are naturally concerned. I get that. But what's happened, people are pulling in a tech and they're now going to decide where do I put my money? And my bet is they're going to put a lot of money into the commodity space and they're going to look at commodity deals that can become mines and they're going to be looking for big wins and they should because you're not coming into power nickel to make double your money if you're looking to make double your money there's better places to go that'll be less risky but if you want to make 10 to 100 times your money power nickel is the deal for you because it's a very good chance that that'll happen in my view obviously i'm i'm long and therefore recommend but i, I really believe that we've got the deposit that can deliver that and we're in the right market in the right jurisdiction at the right time well 
so moving forward this this spring and summer i'm assuming it's the resource estimate that we're waiting for and what mm. else should we be looking forward to as shareholders yeah so let's look at the milestone uh basically the, the next milestone will be the resource uh, announcement which will be sometime in q2 so sometime in june at this point and uh and so that i think will be sort of the shot heard around the world because i don't think many people even know we exist to be honest with you we haven't really spent a lot of money on ir because we, we didn't have a lot of money and we didn't want to spend any of it until we really had the goods now that we've got it we're we're, we're going to go out there and communicate more effectively and, and and tell people what we've got compare ourselves with the leaders in the space because we compare very favorably against them um and then after the resource we'll be drilling so we'll be starting our next um 5000 meter program and it's fully funded and uh, that will take us through probably um, into late July, early August. And uh, we'll be sending um, obviously assays off as we drill. We'd expect to start getting assays back in September uh, through early October. And then we'd, we'd update the resource again. And, um, and then uh, uh, we'd probably do a financing sometime at the end of Q3. Is our thinking? I mean, we would get opportunistic if the stock, uh, you know, you know, went on a run like it should go on a run. You can never predict when that's going to happen. I mean, we we've been offered lots of money here, uh, turned it all down because we felt it was just poor uh, poor time to do that. We felt we we're like significantly undervalued. And when we get the resource estimates out there and get the drilling going, we're expecting to see some major swings there. So we'll, we'll raise some money this fall, and uh, and then we'll do another. A drilling program starting in uh, in October and uh, look to drill another say 15,000 meters and I would think that would put us over 10 million tons and um, that's when you're commercial in this world and just to give you an example of what commercial means yeah I did a there's in our deck if you looked at our deck that's on our site uh, we, we looked and said hey what are we being paid for our market cap for pound and nickel discovered based on the resource estimate in the ground we're getting paid 14 cents price nickel is 12 bucks uh Tala metals which would be the number one company in the space like in our comparables who would like to be when we grow up they're getting paid about 40. so they're getting paid 10 times because they're commercial so when we get paid when we go commercial we're going to get a 10 bagger left in my view so that's coming in my view in addition to finding a whole lot more nickel so you're going to be commercial your target time for being commercial is when I would think probably uh, I would. It, it, it's ultimately the market that decides when when they think you're going to be commercial. But 10 million tons is a, is the big number. So I would expect we'd get to 10 million tons uh, by the end of our next drill program. But so not this 5,000 meter one. I think that'll get us close. Uh, but probably the next one for sure. So I would say uh, you know Q1 of uh, of 2023. Well, we appreciate that. And wow, you're incredibly humble and understated with your accomplishments. Very few junior companies can attract the interest of hedge funds, and you've actually attracted the interest of two. Can you tell me how you did that? Personal relationships, really. Um, at this stage, a lot, one of the small companies, it's all about that. You know, people got to know you to trust you, to, to know that, you know, you're, you're going to, you know, put the money in the ground and spend it wisely. And, and they, um, they don't, they, they've seen a lot of the Mark Twain stories, you know, in junior mining, you know, <laughs> you know so they're, 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 they're looking for people that they, uh, they've done business with before. And, and so that was really how we were able to, uh, to get to these guys. And, you know, we appreciate their support and we think we're going to reward them with a, a big victory. Well, I'll tell you, it certainly makes you an exception to the rule. And on that note, Terry, thank you so much for an update on Power Nickel. We hope you will join us regularly as we march towards your commercialization. Thanks, Tracy. Really look forward to it. Cheers for now.